Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day today. So have you guys ever created a long um, or a bunch of operations here and you guys want to be able to see the cycle times for each one to see where the bulk of your cycle time is getting taken up at? Now there's a couple ways going about this. Um, what we can do is we can go to operations and do simulate and simulate each one and see where the cycle time is um, at. A little bit of time consuming doing it that way. Now another way of going about it is we can uh, go to the documentation tool sheet right here and produce a tool sheet that will show us a cycle time for each operation as well. But maybe as you guys are creating those operations, you want to see the cycle time live in the tree. Well, we can do that for you guys. So here's what I want to show you guys is if you guys right click on operations, come down to cam tree view and come over and click on the show machine time or machining time. What this will do is it will populate the cycle time in parentheses for each operation that you have in your list. So the nice thing about this is you guys can kind of do a quick browse through and see where the bulk of your time is being taken up. So I have one right here that's a little bit long, a minute, 41 seconds, but as I'm going farther down, I have a chamfer faces that is taking up 40 minutes. So I may have a wrong feeder speed. So this is a great way to just kind of take a sneak peek and see everything that's in there. And you guys can keep this as well. So going forward, Forward, your cam tree view will show this for every part and then if you guys want to go back and turn it off just come over here right click on cam tree view come over here and click the hide machine cycle time so that's your kev cam tip of the day come back and check out the tip of the day for tomorrow thanks guys have a great day bye bye